bitch is out here somewhere. Heads up, boys. I think someone's out here. Copy that. Everyone be on alert. Fox. You're the stupidest smart guy on the island. I got you, pal. Come on. We're gonna air one. Oh, 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 stop! Stop! Stop. Ayana. Your friend, Hill? He took Ayana. Josiah. Josiah Hill. That woman who killed me knows where. All right, come on, Fox. You can do this, okay? You just think of Harmony. Oh, she's all I... What would she think of me if I didn't try and help a friend? If I did nothing? Get on your feet, Fox. You can do this. Rip. <coughs> <coughs> huh. Damn it, Fox. Makes sense to spawn me all the way out here and respawn all of them, but okay. We got an intruder! Don't let the prisoner out of your sight! Enemy contact! Burger attack! Copy! 
Nomad. I was hoping you'd come back. About damn time you show me some respect. Jace. Did you find my dad? I'm sorry, kid. Don't say it. Harmony. If you don't say it, it isn't true. If he doesn't say it, daddy's alive. Don't let him say it, Jace. Don't let him. I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm so sorry. And Ayana? I know where she is. I can bring her back. I couldn't help Fox, but I can bring her back.
Please try. Save Ayana. There's no one else. What is going on with these drone swarms? Did your program introduce a glitch or something? It's, uh, the drone swarm AI. That one swarm controller in particular, it went autonomous. Like, completely autonomous. Sentinel doesn't control it. But neither do we. Yeah. That's bad. Not necessarily. It's still running Operation Citadel, and it's also running a lot of other subroutines. But we've been locked out again. We have no access to the program. Plain English, genius. What's going to happen with this AI, and will it let us off the island? The AI is demonstrating emergent behavior. You can't anthropomorphize it. It doesn't think the way people do. It can't let us do anything. But it doesn't make it less amazing. In other words, we're shit out of luck. I'm gonna miss Fox. I already do. What was his job, anyway? He was a mathematician, but unofficially, he was the Pexplo <coughs> Man. That's some indie superhero reference. Pexplo Man is an abbreviation for the Perpetual Exploding Man. It's the title of an old sci-fi novel we both read. It's about a telepathic private eye, very inside joke. We called Fox Pexplo Man around the office because he was just so enthusiastic. His reaction to every good idea it was, it was like his mind was blown. Yeah. I'm surprised he kept Ayana being his source a secret. I figured he'd brag about something like that. He had a good spirit, you know. But it shows you. You never really know another person. What they're thinking. Unless you're a telepathic private eye. Yeah. Pexplo man. Tell me what else you know about Miles. I've only met him unofficially. You know those guys who are somehow everywhere? Know everyone? That was Miles. Made a lot of intros, huh? He made all the introductions. He introduced me to a whole new network of people, and I put them all on my team. He sounds like the kind of government contact an entrepreneur would love to have. I'm not an idiot. I knew he had his own goals. I, I just never imagined they'd include taking over my own company. Hey, at what point did you stop being a part of Walker and Stone's plan? I told you. They took the company from me. And that's why you ran? They were supposed to be running their test of the lethal drones out in the Tar Desert in Rajasthan. Instead, they tested their linchpin models. What's a linchpin model? Their idea is that killing a key individual, a linchpin, will put a chain of events in motion that will cause a desired outcome. Like killing Franz Ferdinand started World War I. They wanted to start some chaos between India and Pakistan. The models were flawed, but it almost worked. I tried to put a stop to it. That's why they took over. That's why I had to run. Walker's dead. You? Yeah. If Walker's dead, why are we still hiding in a cave? He was middle management. Stone's still out there working with Miles and who knows who else. Citadel's still operational. This is far from over. I'm, uh, you were friends, right? I'm, I don't know what to say. He, he wasn't really. I know what you mean. We could spend all day listing his sins and we'd still have plenty more to check off tomorrow. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. You know that one from memory? You don't get rich trying to be right all the time. I've had to forgive a lot of people, and I've had to ask for forgiveness, too. We still have a ways to go, but what do you plan to do when this is over? You mean, with Aurora? With Skeltech? Assuming Miles is out of the picture. You're assuming I don't go to prison. I thought the whole idea of you being out here was that you were self-governing. I mean, we escaped some regulations, but we still have holdings all over the world. And the lawsuits. I'm sure the families of my employees are already filing them from countries all over the world. 
The outcast bombing must have hit you pretty hard. I... Maybe you read about it. I lost my wife in the September 11th attack on the World Trade Center. Sorry, I didn't know. I guess, uh... I guess I can't blame you for bringing in Stone <coughs> and Sentinel. Do you know what it feels like to lose someone? Yeah, I do. You get all torn up inside. You get to feel like you're falling, but it's an endless fall. You grab hold of anything you can. So, what am I grabbing hold of now? I don't know. Us. We need you, Nomad. But you probably need us every bit as much. I met a lot of Skelltech employees who are mad at you. The outcasts? Sentinel hasn't taken care of them yet? They're naive, but they can learn. They can do some good for the island. They're small-minded, fearful. If they think the world is going to destroy them, it will. Well, we need them, so maybe we can change their minds. Some people don't change, Nomad. But some of them do. You healed up from the bombing attack? I mean, in your head? Yeah, well... I had to deal with the aftermath. First team to inspect the site. I still remember all those broken windows, shattered shards of glass. I kept thinking, we can fix those, we can fix those. I got the windows fixed, but... But I stopped scheduling non-vital meetings in the Skell Foundation head office. It's different than when you see something on TV. It's... It's just reporters and sirens. It's the smell. So acrid, it singes your nostrils, like the energy around you has been sucked away, you know? Yeah, I do. And the bombers were never caught. We never knew if another one was coming. We suspected the outcast, but now that Sentinel's taken over, I wonder. And you're the one asked Sentinel to step in. Yeah, that's... that's on me. I suppose you got tricked into inviting private military contractors to Aroa. Well, I mean, not exactly. We're self-governing. You used to be. Okay, we used to be. We needed security. Not just as a police force, but as security. At least that's what Miles got me to finally admit. Against pirates and the mole men and such. Our drone security was limited. It still is. If unauthorized people land, we would know about it, but we couldn't do anything about it. You're obviously not afraid of squatters. You were afraid of corporate spies? We do get spies from time to time. Don't tell the shareholders, but the more our tech discoveries are disseminated throughout the world, the better off it'll be. But I was worried about the safety of our staff, the bombing. I just never imagined the antibiotics would be more deadly than the illness. Sentinel snuck a private army into the abandoned U.S. military complexes. Stone's been planning this takeover from day one. My colleague, Ayana Puri, who dealt with this, certainly has a better picture. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. Imagine grunt drones. Operator drones. You won't have to worry about them being hungry or sad or tired. Shit, they wouldn't break their damn legs falling out of a crashing helo, rendering them useless and totally unable to help their goddamn teammate finish a mission. You're totally helping me. You remind me I'm not as ugly as I could be. That's huge, buddy. Easy. I make the jokes around here. Remember Twitch? Twitch? Holy shit, she'd be having a field day out here. I know. Wish we had her here now. She's supposed to be the best in the world no with drones, and way. she must know a lot about scale technology. You think she'd dig this? Kill her drones and a private army on the loose? I just know we could sure use her help on this. You're not exactly walking too well, so, uh, you know, fighting killer drones is gonna be tough. That is not nice. See if I make you a margarita now. Do you remember Silent Spade? Who need ads attempt to become a nuclear power? No, I never heard of it. Wasn't Skelltech a part of all that? 
I keep remembering this one warehouse. I swear I saw Skell logos all over the place. God damn it, I... It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it was. Doesn't that seem a teensy bit out of line with their mission statement? Nukes? Maybe they didn't know. Maybe Unidad was misusing their technology. Maybe it was all bullshit. Or, maybe, Skelltech isn't what everyone thinks it is. I'd better not get nuked on this tiny little piece of shit island. I'm serious. I will be very upset if I do. We're well beyond nukes, I think. It's a new century. War has evolved. I'd worry about something more subtle, and... way more dangerous. Whatever that looks like. I'm having trouble making sense of some things. Jesus, Tony. Okay, one more time. The knife is for cutting the food, the spoon is for eating it. We'll stay away from the fork for now. You'll just hurt yourself. Right. Thanks. So anyway, asshole. <laughs> You're welcome. Walker was chasing that Skelltech engineer in Bolivia. Same as we are, <coughs> right? Yeah. And he claimed it was about getting at Bowman, but... What, lady? What if he was working for Skell? That engineer sold a lot of sensitive information. So what if Skell sent Walker to clean that up? Can't say I like the sound of that. It would explain a lot. Christ. I like it better when you're struggling with your utensils. I hate being stuck on this island. It's growing on me. I love the trees. You're an idiot. Yep. Well, I'm glad you like it so much, since it doesn't look like we're leaving anytime soon. Who wants to leave? Things are just getting interesting. That's for damn sure. So, what do we do now? What we always do. We take the fight to them. This shit's hardly over. We need help. There's good people here. Yeah. First, we help them get control back. Then we figure out who the hell is driving this bus. And smoke them. Hell yeah. You know... I guess I'm glad you survived that crash. Love you too, buddy. Cocktail? How about two? Walker's dead. No matter what happened, I know it wasn't easy. I talk a lot of shit, but I'm sorry things went down this way. I was so angry. Seeing the things he did, what he became... I thought I'd feel better. Dude, don't beat yourself up. You're still human. This is bigger than Walker. He was a symptom. The disease is systemic. He goes pretty high, doesn't it? I'm afraid to think about what takes Walker's place now. Whoever it is, we'll be ready. I hope so, brother. Seriously, man, you need to recover. You're way better with drone technology than I am. I need you out there. Well, you're just gonna have to suck it up, buttercup. Maybe if you had paid attention in cross-training. I did, asshole. But it's your speciality. I'm just not as good with those things. We all have our part to play, right? You've got your wheelhouse, and we all stay pretty much out of your way when you're working. That's how this goes. Keep pushing yourself with new challenges. Learn everything you can. Rally other folks to fill in the gaps. That's great and all, but I still need you, man. Aw, oh, you like me. You really like me. I don't know why I bother. Brother, I know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. I do. God knows I feel useless as hell holed up here. You're just gonna have to find another me. I know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. I do. God knows I feel useless as hell holed up here. Repeating, huh? You're just gonna have to find another me. Another you. Like that could possibly exist anywhere. Aw, I may cry. Go to hell. Later, brother. Later.
See you around, Raza. Remember, stay out of trouble. I don't know, I think you ought to rather be looking this way, keeping eyes on people walking in, making sure they're not a Terminator, but that's cool. Not like I know anything. You know, it's not like Terminators are infiltrator units or anything. You know, T-800 infiltrator doesn't stand for anything. That's cool. Fucking weird-ass browns. <coughs> um. I You heard what happened? I liked Fox. His girl's going to need caring for. Maybe you can check in on Jace. I think Erwan seems to have done him some good. Any man who keeps his head after losing a friend like that deserves a chance. Too bad about Fox. I had my doubts about him at first. I wondered how Fox could have had a kid with as much spirit as Harmony. Just figured it must have been her mother. Till Valhalla. Fox may not have had any of your skill, but he stood up for what he cared about. That's all a person can hope to do. Weird having the woman from all those propaganda videos walking around. I don't trust her. She worked an angle and failed. She needs us if she wants to survive. And what does she really do? Send a few videos? You make it sound easy. If she could end all this by handing any of us over to Stone, what choice do you think she'd make? Because me? I don't know. Looks like the outcasts are just stupid protest kids with too much high explosive. What are you talking about? They never meant to kill anyone. Is that supposed to be an excuse? They're dumb as shit, but we need all the help we can get. Some help ain't worth it. They've got people everywhere. You've got people here. We need them. They'll get better. I hope so. You homesteaders must hate Skeltex automated farms. I'm sure some of us would jump at the idea, so long as it meant they were still off grid. Come on, seriously? I thought you guys were about living off the earth, being one with nature and all that stuff. <laughs> Where'd you get that hippie crap? <laughs> People got different reasons for being here, Nomad. And what are yours? They're mine, is what they are. You heard. Jay Skell's been bleeding cash trying to cure the disease that Paula's husband's got. I don't get why that's a big deal. Nobody's tried to cure it before because not enough people have it. Jace could spend millions on a cure and never see a profit. Well, I guess he never did seem like a money-grubbing Scrooge. If I was you, I would have left the island when Skelltech moved in. Skell wasn't so bad at the start. Until he made killer drones and turned the island into an exclusion zone. Obviously. Yeah. Technology can be a pain in the ass. Yep. It'd be a pretty island. Without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much, it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself, one day, I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I get now. So what happened here? What didn't happen? Skeltech. It's utopia. <coughs> this place was paradise before they showed up with their toys. Come on, digging in the dirt, worrying if you're gonna have a good crop, weathering hurricanes without any infrastructure, that's paradise? It was ours. It meant something. These people came here and brought the devil with them. People always bring the devil with them. 
Those people out there, they brought a few extra and they can have them. We're gonna weather the storm here. So you've got your people, but screw the rest of them. I got enough people to think about. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the naval station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. I heard your Queen Bee around here. Maybe more like Mama Bear. I was raised on Aroa, been homesteading all my life, so there ain't much I can't do with my hands. More than anything, I'm just here to look out for our people. And I bet you're good at it. How do you put up with Mads? Oh, he's not so bad. Once you get past that prickly shell, he's the perfect teddy bear when you need a cuddle in the cold night. I'll leave the cuddling to you. Besides, I'm still getting that prickly shell. He just takes a little patience. We don't suffer fools out here. My husband sees something catawampus, he smacks it till it's straight. Then I'll make sure I'm squared away. Fox... He didn't make it. What happened? He sacrificed himself. Yellowleg got him. Damn. Oh, so much death. I'll miss that little fellow. He was an odd duck, but I kinda liked him. So did I. Hell, everyone liked him. He had a charm to him, even if he was a bit of a nerd. He was a good guy. You know, he reminded me of Mads in a way. Too damn giving. Always putting himself before others. I ain't surprised to hear he sacrificed himself. I just wish he could have asked for help, you know? Or at least thought about his daughter. It's just a damn shame. We could have helped him. He had friends here. Someone's gonna need to look after Harmony. Yeah. She's going to need a lot of help moving on from all this. She needs someone who can really take the time to process her emotions and raise her right. Got anyone in mind? Well, she's close with Skell, but... He's incredibly wealthy. She'd want for nothing. Yeah, all he does is work. And he spoils her to make up for it. That's no way to raise a child. What she needs is time and space to heal. And someone looking after her that can give her all the love she needs. How are the homesteaders feeling about Skell now? Well, that's not so simple. Nobody's really thrilled with him, as you could have guessed. They avoid him, like the plague. But that suits him just fine. He don't have to mingle with us anyway. Can't they just learn to live without the small talk? I suppose I'll have to. People here seem to respect him more now. I guess that's what you'd call it. We thought he was a heartless fool before. But now... Maybe he was just naive. You can't fault a man for that. I see that he really is dedicated and hardworking. And those are values that we homesteaders hold very dear to us. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> uh oh.
There's a new Terminator operational on Aroa. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't threatening humanity. Just point me in the right direction. Thanks. For... literally saving the future. My hunch is that'll take more than firing off a few rounds, but... I'm happy to do my part. <coughs> <coughs> Huh. <laughs> Maybe it's part of some new project? Lately, Skell's been developing all kinds of secret projects. This artificial skin is pretty advanced. I, I I've never seen yet. anything like it. 
about the wiring is pretty sloppy for a scout project. Man, I can't feel my toes. Whoa! Uh. Enemy contact! I get low! Uh. 